Okay, what we're doing here today is we're going to bring a slimy mackerel for the purpose of skipping for a, uh, a marlin fishing trip. We've got a fresh slimy mackerel that we just caught, uh, duck, gill, all still intact. Uh, we're planning to rig this for a pitch bait after switching a striped marlin from a teaser. Um, it's only two threads in the rig. First piece of thread, number one, you go through the eyes. You go through the eye socket three times. Confirm you lay it down or stand it up. Once we've gone through the eye socket three times, tie it, pick overhand knot. Once we've got the overhand knot, we take our longer section of our two pieces of thread. And go down through the top of the head behind the knot. Pull that all the way through till it's tight. Then we use the same piece of thread to do the mouth stitch. Just up through here. Up through there. And through the very top section of his mouth. So we end up with it above the fish's mouth. Second stitch. Second piece of thread here. We go straight down, opposite our first mouth stitch. Now we end up with two bits of thread inside of his mouth, and we tie an overhand knot. I like to tie a series of overhand knots to space the circle hook off the bait's nose, so I tie seven or eight of these. I do this instead of inserting a piece of plastic tubing or the like to space the hook off the bait. Now we have the spacing section hopefully about 10 to 15 mil long. Take our circle hook, we attach it via clove hitch, which is a single half hitch, followed by a second half hitch. Pull that as tight onto there as you can. On the other tag line, we do another half hitch, half hitch, and then we secure the two tails with a single overhand knot. And there you have our rig pitch break. 